and the big reveal in three, two, one. Morning. So people have lots of different styles. Whether it's hair up, hair down, glasses, no glasses, what clothes they're wearing, whatever it is. And it's kind of a way for them to express themselves. And today, I'm changing up my style a little bit. Maybe you guys haven't seen, but I have um, these glasses. They're uh, chunkier glasses. They're relatively big frames, and I'm just not a fan anymore. I've had them for four years, and today, I'm getting new ones. Still like have like a frame, like a plastic frame on the top, and then they have a metal bottom. So it's a good in-between, and I really like them. So I'm gonna be going downtown later after work to get those, but see how the day progresses. Let's have a little morning coffee first. There was a little left in my coffee machine. Oh, my mom had made it where to go. I lost it. <laughs> so, I found it. Mmm. Also, I want to get that camera lens mug. That thing is so cool. I'm really excited for these new glasses. Oh. Mm. No. Dang. But traveling has been on my mind so often recently because I want to change this, not change the channel, but like start traveling and doing a lot of like travel vlogs and meeting people on different trips and doing super cool stuff, even in different countries, not just Toronto. And I'm trying to plan like a last minute, like two week vacation at the end of summer. Still not sure where I'm going to go or who I'm going to go with. But I'm thinking New York or somewhere in the States. Like I've been to New York before. As you guys know, I really want to live there, like really bad. I've never actually stayed there for more than a couple days, like more than, I think it was two days we only stayed there and we didn't really see the city that much. Like I want to go in an Airbnb, stay there for like two weeks and like take a boosted board and really get to know the city, like really enjoy all it has to offer and just meet a bunch of people there and oh my oh my gosh i would love to meet sarah dici or craig adams or also i've started watching brett conti as well so that would be so cool like when i go there definitely need to meet those guys they're super genuine hustling hardworking youtubers and i love it that's why i love uh, new york in general to be honest it's full of so many creative, hardworking people. That's just the atmosphere that I want to be in. I'm going to make it happen. Just wait for it. And one day, very, very soon, I'm going to be living in New York. <laughs> New York, do, 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 do. New York. Thanks, Frank Sinatra. Should I walk to work? It's eight o'clock. One thing I was saying with like nine to five that I've had to learn over the summer is it gets pretty mundane and really boring very fast. And you get into like this schedule and that's what I've realized makes life so fast. It's like every single day you're doing something and it's like the same thing every single day. It's like this huge loop. And fun for Louie actually said it recently. He said someone told him, and then he told me, which I appreciate so much, but what's the point of having a day if you can't even remember it? Like, if you did nothing meaningful that day, that day is useless. And if we're gonna be wasting days doing things that we don't really care to do, why are we doing them? It makes no sense. Yeah. Actually, today I'm gonna walk to work. Let's start. <laughs> the adventure begins.
Bye, buddy. I actually never knew this trail was here. Why have I not known this? We have ran into a bit of a problem. Never mind. No problem. Whoa. It's just, <laughs> it's just slippery, that's all. Just getting to work now. And seriously, that walk was so worth it. I found out about a complete new path that I didn't even know about. It really woke me up because it's like a 50 minute walk. I also recommend like biking if anything. I, I wish I had a boosted board because that entire trail was like path and a lot of it was through the forest. So it would have been so nice and smooth. And I'm done work. And we're also at board in Dundas. So Dundas West. I honestly couldn't film the whole process of getting here. I had two hours, no less than two hours, like an hour and a half to get from Richmond Hill all the way downtown. And they're about to close in like one minute, two minutes, so gotta go. And we're finally here. Oh my God, what a mission that was. Woo. And the big reveal in three, two, one. There they are. I personally like them a lot. Some people aren't gonna like them, but I really like it because it's like formal and also like nice and modern and young as well at the same time. It was a big step up from like my old ones that I had that were just big and chunky, where it's like these are big and chunky at the top, and then it's a nice metal frame on the bottom. Also, I'm not used to like the nose pads here, and so I'm really not used to wearing glasses. To be honest with you, it feels so strange. For the last while, I've been wearing just straight contacts, so we'll see how that goes. But, like, what happens if I didn't like them, right? If I didn't like them, I can't really do anything about it, so kind of sucks, but I do still like them. A week later, I made the right decision, and now I'm gonna have to live with this decision for three years, or however long I decide to keep these glasses but I don't even know if I'm gonna be wearing them a lot. But I haven't ate all day because I forgot my lunch at home, so time to get some McDonald's. McDonald's has been obtained. I love my new glasses. They are so nice, but I'm gonna end the vlog off here because I gotta run back home. An emergency just happened right now. I gotta help my mom with something super last minute. So I'll see you guys in the next Better Life vlog.